Good afternoon, everyone. I am actually just open a container to channel um, some message or things about that. What we can do to support collective uh, grief. Um, I went in and I realized this message will be very important, and even for me to better understand what I channel through. Uh, so I'm gonna record this message. Um, I will share on different social media. So if you later watch this video, you might uh, on YouTube, uh, might be on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, everywhere. My name is Gina. I am a channeler. I'm a healer. I'm a podcast hoster, host. Um, I'm also a nonprofit founder and uh, president. So my channeling process is I close my eyes and uh, bring my awareness uh, up and connect with the guides, uh, angels, whoever is here. I usually, sometimes I channel specific guides, but for this one, I feel called to just uh, uh, channel in, calling in the guides who is present for us, with us in this particular moment and um, offer the healing, offer the advice for how we move through uh, this grief period of time. Okay, so give me one second. Grief is just like a birthing. They are the constantly have new things, new air energy bursting on the earth, planet, and in the universe, or transform. Let's say transform. In human world, you don't really see. You see that everything as linear. Things have start point and a finish point. But in the grand scheme of things, there's no um, beginning, no ending. They all simultaneously happening. We do not want to get too, too deep of a, uh, it's harder for you to understand. And what we want to say is grieving death. We are grieving the death. We're grieving the loss. It's just like we celebrating the new beginning with a um, new birth of a, a child. You In the human collective, in the human history, there's uh, always have good and bad that's exactly the reality you guys are living you have high or low everything is extreme on the one side or another end uh we all you all want to have good things in your life right you want love and light you don't like darkness and um, evil uh, you want uh, new beginnings you want changes but you do not like the pause the grief the loss uh, this is uh, something we want to talk about and especially we acknowledge that in this specific period of time, even in the next couple, two, one or two decades, we're going to experience a lot of population um, move on. And when we say population move on, some of the population uh, they move on is they reaching to their uh, limitation. Let's say everything have expiration date. And as a human body, you have that too. And also, we are at a stage of that a lot of soul are choose to checking out. Uh, this is showed up in your human collective. It's the same as passing away. However, there are so many souls that are choosing to leave at this specific time because their mission is complete. You heard the star seed, the light workers came from different waves. And this is the uh, period of time that uh, specific waves, they uh, did their part. And uh, they are passing on the um, torches to the next generation. So we are, we want to acknowledge, we want to share with you, there will be more people passing. You already probably realized that on your social media, in your life, uh, people are closing to you or you know somebody, somebody, they are passing away and all of a sudden they are very uh, out of nowhere, um, out of no signs, they just moved on. This is an indicator of a lot of souls they are choosing to leave. And then just let you know, 
if it still has different exit points and you have free will to choose on your soul level, uh, in your subconscious level that you have an arrangement to, to choose to leave the world in a way. However, however, this does not make the grief process easier. And this is exactly what we want to talk about today. We are human, you are human, a lot of you, if you are listening to this message that you are in a human body, in the human body, you are deeply encoded with a lot of specific things for the human species, which is emotions. You have feelings and actually emotions is on the larger scale impact how you move, how you behave, how you acting upon the things in your life. And as much as you excited for the new beginning and the growth also, uh, in the human world, is emotions of sadness, of depressed, of down, of darkness, of gloom, of blue. When dealing with the uh, loss, uh, the grief process is super important because every single moment you are losing something. There's no 10 minutes ago anymore. You only have this moment. And the future time is not here. So you literally do not have past, do not have future. You only have this moment. So basically in every single moment of your living time, you are grieving. You are in the grief state of for something already past, already cannot find anything back, the same feeling back. And we literally want to introduce this concept to uh, educate, to guide the human collective better, honor, the death and better offering the grief ceremony in the community. Our channel is asking us what is the best practice and what she can do or what we can do to create the space for community to come together to honor, to grieve death, grieve the loss. We want to say first, the first, first of the first is have the awareness, is be okay to talk about. A lot of you are not very comfortable talk about death, talk about grief. When somebody have a loved one passed away, you almost don't know how to ask questions, how to have normal conversation. You almost want this person instantly feel better. It's almost feel like if she felt better, you feel better. So first step is acknowledge other people's pain. Honor other people's process. They might take a one day, two days, two years, and 10 years. They might still in the grieving process. We are only say this grieving different percentage until one day you completely um, in the peace and the harmony that you know that you completed that healing process, uh, the grieving process. And how to grieve. This is such a big topic. We're going to touch on um, parts of them that to bring awareness. First of all, grief is a general name for the process of honoring the death, remembering uh, this person's this energy, their story, allows this energy to move through you. So it depends on your relationship with this person, with this being, with these plants or animals. Your process is very different from other people's process. So we cannot design a one fit mode for people who are going through the grieving process. It's almost need to treat each individual as a different case to work with. However, we do have some general guidance for uh, the grieving process. And first of all, depends on your relationship, as we mentioned, depends on, on how this person passed away, depends on your soul contract. You might carry different kind of the emotions, um, feelings, triggers towards this person. For example, if this person is play a huge role in your life, when this person passed away and your, your life feel that it's a hole need to be filled, and this will take a lot longer to until you fill this hole within other energy, either with your own energy, with other energy. Otherwise, this, this hole it will be always there and you will always, always missing this feeling. And for 
Another example, let's say this person will did something horrible to you when he or she is alive. You will also have a hard time to let it go because that's unfinished business there. You're still holding on the anger, uh, the judgment, and uh, forgiveness need be done. So when this person is not there anymore, you don't have this emo emotional connection, which means you cannot even be mad at, mad at this person. Isn't that something happened to you in your life when somebody, uh, let's say your parents, they are mean to you, or let's say your father mean to you, and then you know every time you go back, sometime you have a fight, it's almost allow you to release your anger towards this person. When this person is passed away, you almost they have this part of energy you still carry, you don't have an outlet. This is what are we talking about. And there are so many scenarios in your life that depends on your relationship with this person. Some of it, they might be your big supporter. Uh, when they're gone, you don't find this supporter anymore. Uh, there's anger, there's guilt and shame. A lot of things are related to this person who passed away. So grief process is literally an integration, a healing journey. Uh, that allow you to move through this energy to aware, to acknowledge, to release those, to transmute these energies to back to create its love. What's the end result of the grief? Grief, end result of grief is love, is acceptance, is gratitude, is this thankful. It's very important to check you with yourself and which scenario you you are going through and ask her support for the people who can hold a space for you. A lot of time people refuse to let it go because that's the things they've been holding on for decades. Either you're holding on uh, the love for decades, but that will be different energy. You will have this beautiful heart opening when you think about this person versus you think about this person, your heart will close. And the grief is, even you have this love in your heart, the grief is a constant in process, a remembering. But you can choose what to remember. And we would like to invite you to think about three things that you remember this person, that it touched your heart in one way or another. And pass on this energy to another person. The physical body is gone, but the energy is living. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I felt a lot of love at the end of this channeling. And I hope you can find a peace. I hope this message helped you to navigate the uh, grief process. And we, I personally, we encourage you to start create those grieving circle or support group in whichever way you feel called to, to support other people, to remember their loved one, to transmute the energy they have been holding on that are not allow them to move forward in order to, to reach to love and light. You will need have the courage to dive into darkness and evil. And by the way, 
Everything is energy. Love you.